everyone and welcome back. In this video I will be teaching you how to play Un Suspiro by Franz Liszt. The first thing that you should know is the D flat major scale and it's like this. And Franz Liszt is going to take the first chord of the scale D flat to come up with the background of the piece. So we have this note and all he's going to do is add the A flat downstairs. So we have a flat, D flat, F and A flat. And he'll use one, two, three, and five. That's what I like. You could also use fourth finger here on F, but I like third finger. So you're gonna do for the right hand, up and down like this. A flat, D flat, F, A flat, and then descending. That's one group. Second group on the right hand. That's it. We have another one and one last one and that's two measures so we have the D flat chord first chord of the scale to begin with now the left hand is going to do the same thing all you have to do is take the same notes A flat D flat F and put it underneath like this and to this chord also we add the D flat which is the bass so have this and this all of this D flat major. Now what he does is run it from underneath and go all the way up. And it's going to continue four times like this, three times like this. So we'll do it. That's it. pedal all the way through or change it every D flat so change here now keep it if you like it just keep it there as long as you're light keep it you could change it though you could do change there if you would like or keep it all right so we made a nice background for the piece this you have to think it should be just feel it a little bit what it sounds like you know with harmony nicely done and that's all there is there now what you have to think now is a little bit on the rhythm so we could count this up and end up like this the one would be the D flat the two would be the A flat and then three and four will be the same notes so you have like this one two three four one. That will be the first measure. The piece is in 4-4, four, four, so you have to think 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. And just remember that the 4-4, four, four, the first beat and the third beat are strong. So strong, weak, strong, weak. And that helps you play it too, because you're going down on D-flat, this will be the movement, going a little bit higher here and also inside to adjust for the short finger thumb and then here you are already inside black notes down and up here down and up down up and that will give you a nice sound and that's all there is there all right so try to play like that poco agitato so think a little bit da, 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 da. move it a little bit all right also he does a crescendo so the light a little more a little more and less to get the entrance for the melody think it almost as an introductory part but it's important because it gives the feel for the rest of that is coming up okay da. that's all there is I also like to think on the number eight the number eight if you put it upside down will be like this right something like that so when you play this note I feel like I'm up here and then as I go down I go quicker up and down like that so I do this that's the number eight right there Okay? 
and at the same time count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And we have created the background for the whole piece. Okay, now to practice this, sometimes you could do accents every other note. I'm gonna just practice one group because this rest is the same. Change the accent to the other note, do the opposite. Now do the accent every beat. So one, two, three, four. Then you know very well what those, the, where the beat is. Okay, you could also practice with rhythm, so you could do slow, quick, like that, and then repeat, right? Opposite. And then do a sweeping motion all the way up, all the way there. And then you glue it all together. One, two, three, lighter. So as you do a little crescendo, you could start even a little slower here and then get into it. More, more, and then less, less. Okay? And we have the cushion for the rest of the piece here, agitato. Now the next section is going to involve the melody. So after you do this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. In this one, now the harmony is going to be different. So we're going to have this. And then here we have a rest. That's all we add. Rest. Alright, instead of having the A flat, we just let go. Rest. We just let go. Because on that rest, we're gonna have the melody. And the melody is gonna go like this. It seems easy, but it's not. What you have to think is, as you go higher, you increase the volume. So let's say you start the melody like this. The next one a little more. The next one a little more. More. Get there. Now notice the E flat is underneath, so it's going to be less sound. The B flat is below, less sound. And the D flat is a quarter note, so we're going to ring it up because it's heavier than the other notes. So we end up with something like this. Less. And then there. We get there to the D flat. Okay. Now we have to distribute this with both hands. So what I like doing is when I do this. That left is going to cross over. Now then it's going to follow the right hand. With third finger. Left right with third finger again now we have F third finger and then we get here with two or three either one okay now we're gonna add the harmony think on the harmony like this and we're gonna add it so let's do the third measures there so we round this up once you get to F you add the A flat we ring it more than the background one time so let's do it again there and then descending again this background that's all there is da. okay when you get the D flat we're gonna add that part of the melody which is B flat so we go B flat together with D flat we do the same B flat and 
then he is going to change. He wrote cantando, which means singing. So you think, So up to there, you keep going forward. You keep increasing the sound. But also, he has this dolce. You know, sometimes you could do a motion towards you to do it more elegant. So it's sweet, cantando, and also a little bit elegant. So let's play the third measure slowly. Then we have the melody. Melody. Oh. And now here on E flat, we're going to change the harmony. So we're going to go, instead of D flat, the one chord, we're going to think of G flat. So we have fourth chord of the scale like this. All right? And what he'll take, instead of this one, he, this is the first inversion, he has this on the right hand, and it's going to move it like this. Rest. It's rest, but you can keep the pedal. So the right hand just does this. We wait, and we run it again. That's it. Now for the left hand, if you have this on the right hand, you also have this on the left hand. Alright, so the left hand is going to go up and down. It's the same thing. To all of this, the G flat major chord, we're going to add the D flat on the bass. Okay, so it will be a G flat over D flat, this chord. Okay, so we're going to play it now the way it goes. So we have this, now we have the chord inside. Now rest. Okay, that's all there is. Now we add the E flat here. That's what we need to add. So we add the E flat with D flat. F. flat with D flat the melody there and then we get the D flat here okay now I'm gonna play slowly those two measures so we have this melody together here remember to increase the sound And then here we go back to the pattern at the beginning. That's all the same. Okay, to get the speed, well, the same approach. Try to make it accent. All right, do rhythms like that. Do each phrase by like that, each arpeggio. So. All right, and then all the way up. Kind of like a, a swing in there. The All right. And then it repeats. So the good news, if you get this down, then it's the same. Now, important thing that the melody, this bass, never play too much on it. Don't play like that. See, if I have the A flat, see, you get rid of the. The melody if I play too loud, so see. So what I have to do there is make sure I don't overemphasize the D flat, the bass, and I have that line, melodic line, like this. But I cannot, if 
if I emphasize the D flat, the A flat will go away. So what I have to do is very light here. Still there, C, until B flat. Always less on the left hand. Do. Oh, that will give me balance. Always on the melody more, less here. And then it's the same. All right. So now I'm going to play this whole section because it's the same. So we could play a measure. So we start like this. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, melody. More sound. Get there and then release. Back for it again, same thing. Now, second time, I like to do a little more extra sound. Oh. It's all the same. Less sound. Alright, that's all there is. Now, if I want to play these eight measures, I think a little bit hypnotic at the beginning. Back and forth, more sound, less melody. Open. Release. Same now. switch now I put the pedal for the most part I keep it down there just making a nice sound less sound I change it there see when I get here change it change keep it change it here on the change of harmony G flat change it there keep it same pedal now change it now change it here. And then right here we're gonna switch. I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed subscribe. Also thank you very much and all my supporters from Patron and buy me a coffee.